And now, your first alert weather. Hey, what's up? It's Jeff Roper in the First Alert Viper Weather Center, and uh, things around here will be maybe uh, a little more cloudy today, but I'm, are you complaining? Because if you are, I'm going to send you back to your room. We're not, <laughs> don't make me turn this weather around. Don't make me do it. This is a flood advisory. Now, this, this came out uh, maybe while you were resting over the Memorial Day weekend. It's because of the snow melt. <laughs> and that's, that's because the sun is out and things have been, begun to warm up around here. Our temperatures this time of the year around Idaho Falls and Blackfoot should be right around 72 degrees for May. And obviously, we've seen a fluctuation of that. We've seen some of the warmest time of the year already as we hit the 80s last week. And then we had that uh, torrentially just miserable, just downtrodden gray Memorial Day weekend, and that's how we knew it was Memorial Day. Uh, around here today, though, we're going to see just a few mountain showers pop up and down across the area. Uh, I think mainly clouds are what you're going to see. Uh, it'll be partly sunny for us and just a few scattered mountain sprinkles here or there. The great news is it gives us a chance to warm up and gives us a few days off from that whispery, wintry uh, beginning of Memorial Day weekend that we saw. This is a live look at Jackson Hole this morning where they are just waking up and uh, listening to the, listen you can hear the birds singing it's, it's isn't it great we got this is like disney we got special effects up here uh it's gonna be beautiful just don't pet the fluffy cows and stay away from the wildlife we're in their backyard it is going to be gorgeous so you're going to get out in it you're going to probably ride your bike and make sure the kids have helmets and make sure everybody can be seen we've probably got more visitors traveling through here there's a blackfoot rest area uh, pocatello has got some bold sunshine here in the shadow of the farm bureau insurance building and it's going to be a great day to play some golf probably seven mile an hour breezes makes it feel a little chilly but it's a great way to start uh, a few clouds over the central mountain areas with those sprinkles uh, which I was mentioning beforehand and we'll see some sun building into the afternoon which is going to warm us up. We're in the 30s this morning there into western Wyoming. It's 43 into IP. AF is at 46 degrees. It's 43 in Salmon and it is chilly in Chile about 39 degrees. Yes, there's a chilly Idaho. Yep. And it usually is chilly around there. Uh, and then you get into some bold sunshine. Now, yesterday we saw uh, some of that sun poking through here. I know we had a great couple of days before the Memorial Day weekend with some sun and warmer temperatures. Yesterday we hit 76 in Pocatello. We hit 69 degrees in Swan Valley. And appropriately enough, your square ice cream probably melted on you. Uh, so we'll see some more of that bright sunshine today into the afternoon. I'm thinking 74, 75 degrees for Idaho Falls. Uh, and throughout the course of the day today, we'll ramp up into that 65 degree range by about lunchtime. So uh, mid-morning mid break, be about 61, go for a nice little brisk walk around the green belts, and we'll be in the mid-70s by mid-afternoon. So here's a live look at Yukon this morning. I'm waiting on the cattle to show up at the canal there. Some folks are probably taking this week off because uh, school gets out. <laughs> and Old Faithful is a little blustery this morning with some cloud cover. Folks are pulling into the parks, and then we're going to see temps uh, really start popping around here into close to 80 degrees. But it is chilly this morning into Jackson, hovering right around 33 there at Buffalo Way, and the bold sunshine into Idaho Falls at 42 degrees. All right, things around here will uh, continue to be bright, uh, and we'll see temperatures climbing toward 80 as we hop into the weekend. Uh, there's a satellite picture, so just a few clouds traipsing over us, and we'll see those fronts stay well to our north. I'm really pleased to tell you that the forecast uh, is going to be delicious. Take a look at the eight day. We're going to enjoy some, some of this nice blue sky, 72, 73 with shower chances impending for tomorrow in Salmon. Then we lower the boom. It's going to be in the upper 60s with better storm chances there into the upper highlands. We start to blow into the weekend in Blackfoot, and that's where we see the best chance of storms into late Sunday and Monday. So I think we can salvage this weekend if you are optimistic like I am. Once we cool off from this uh, peak temperature tomorrow of about 74 in Rexburg, it'll be closer to 80 in the Central Valley areas and Jackson will see lower 70s. You've got a better chance of those mild spring storms pushing across because you're all up in it. Uh, 76 into Pocatello with light breezes today, warmer. It'll be 81 in Old Town tomorrow and windy conditions with better storm chances into Sunday. So I'm really giving this the big two thumbs up 
for a forecast that we can handle this weekend and maybe push those storms off into late Sunday and into Monday. It's going to be 73 in Idaho Falls today, then closer to 80 degrees tomorrow. That's the great news. Look at that bold sunshine this morning and what a great question of the day. What is the best summer food and how do you like it prepared? Hit me up on the Hollaback line.